recapping two important stories that are breaking now. First, Cincinnati police now defending the officer shooting that occurred this past week on a weekend on Fountain Square, which resulted in the death of a Westwood teen. Nine News reporter Tom McKee just attending a briefing with Cincinnati's police chief, and he's live this noon with that new information. Tom. Good afternoon, Lance. This briefing, of course, was with Chief James Craig, and it was more of a meet the media kind of session, but we were able to get questions in on the shooting on Saturday night on Fountain Square. Now, of course, the victim was 16-year-old Devin Mullins of Westwood, lived on McHenry Avenue. That's new information we did not know. The shooter, of course, was Officer Oscar Sirvenick uh, of the Cincinnati Police Department. This happened after guns were spotted being tossed over a fence at the Black Family Reunion. Teens were followed to Fountain Square. Officer Sirvenick uh, became suspicious of young Mullins when he had his hand in his pocket and the, there was a gun in that pocket, as it turned out, with allegedly the finger on the trigger. Now, the, the shooting happened in the early evening hours. The teen died just after midnight, but we didn't learn about it till almost to last night, about 5 o'clock on Sunday. Chief James said that was because the notification was very, very difficult. We had to literally identify him through prints, and so that was a time delay there. Then once we, had, we went to a, a one address that was not the right address, and we had to go to another address, uh, we wanted to make absolutely sure the family was, um, was notified. Um, the other part of it is we had made the commitment to have a press conference within 24 hours of the incident, and as it turned out, we had a press conference with more detailed information within 20 hours. Now, Chief James, or Chief Craig said that that was basically the idea was to make sure that bad information didn't get out because, Lance, there were a number of youths still downtown because they'd been coming in the Black Family Reunion from the Black Family Reunion area. And it was also an event on Fountain Square, some music event. That there were lots of people on the square also. So it was a safety issue, they thought, too, to make sure the information got out in a correct manner. One other note here, the gun would cover was supposedly a 9 millimeter. It's being processed for possible prints and for possible DNA evidence. If uh, Mr. Mullins had survived, he would have been charged with attempted murder for trying to possibly shoot Officer Sirenek, Lance. Tom McKee reporting live for us outside District 1 this noon. Tom, thank you. All of this.